Hey guys, it's Coach Reginald Sweet, Boys and Girls Clubs of Mitchell County. I am the Teen Center Unit Director. And welcome again to our career slash college fair. And right now with us, we have Mrs. Stephanie Wilkerson, who is the Early Childhood Care and Education Department Chair, and she's also an instructor. How are you, Ms. Wilkerson? I am well, well, well. I'm happy to be doing this. I'm excited. Great. We are glad to have you with us today to share some information to our listeners, our students, um, and and um, in their quest to go to a um, to higher education and higher learning. And so um, I'm gonna let you do what you do, and um, I'm gonna let you uh, tell us and give us the information um, as far as Albany Tech is concerned and also the Early Childhood Education Department, in which I am a grad of that department. Yes, yes, yes. They prepared me well. They prepared me well. Well, that's, that's a nice little plug right there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, let me first off just shout out the Boys and Girls Club. I used to work for Boys and Girls Club. Did you? Um, yes, I did. Well, I did for one summer. You know, I, I, I came up through Girls Inc. working there for seven years. But one of those years, I did work at Boys and Girls Club in East Albany. Great, great, great. One great. summer. So shout out to Boys and Girls Club. I've always been a fan of Boys and Girls Club. Well, that's that's good. It, it, it's good to have a fan. <laughs> Maybe I can be a contributor and not just a fan. Right. Right? We'll, we'll into that. I'm sure y'all don't just need another fan. You know? Right, right. In 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 in, in your present in, in your um, presentation, I really would love for you to um to really touch on the importance of um, technical schools and the careers that technical schools um prepare our students for. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I am going to speak on that because. One of my favorite components of technical colleges is not only the class instruction, but the hands-on component too, that gets our students prepared. Um, and so I am going to speak like an ambassador today, not just for early childhood care and education. I would love to see some future educators come through there, of course, so I'm gonna speak on that. But I wanna talk about the benefits of technical colleges, especially Albany Tech. And I'll be the first one to sit here and say that if I knew then what I know now, coming out of high school, I would have gone to Albany Tech first. But I didn't have anybody to direct me into doing that. And so me being the type of student that I was, I went from high school straight into college, the college and university setting. And that was not the setting that I needed to start off with. And so with that being said, I want to talk about some of the benefits of going to Albany Technical College. Um, first off, and depending on what it is you're coming to do, we do have certificate program, we have diploma program, we have degree program. Now, since I am talking to boys and girls, correct? Um, Absolutely. That are in high school? Absolutely. But that's my audience? Okay, yes, well, you all can benefit then from dual enrollment. And I will speak from the highest mountaintop when it comes to dual enrollment because you can't get any better than working on college credits while you're in high school. It costs nothing right now. Your books, absolutely nothing. And there's nothing more impressive than someone who's leaving high school with college credits or a college diploma or degree already besides your name. I mean, that is just totally awesome. And so I do um, encourage high school students to take advantage of the dual enrollment program. Um, we do offer online classes, hybrid classes, evening classes. However, in the wake of COVID-19, we're only doing online classes right now. Um, but once we do go back into the swing of things, Hybrid, that simply means that you're in class majority of the time with some online components as well. Evening classes are more designed for those who may have jobs during the day. They can benefit from having an evening class. Um, or if you're just simply um, have other things going on during the day, you can come to our evening classes. Now, we have started what we call success terms at all. And that is designed for one to come through our programs, 
cutting their um, time in half, if you, if you will. You're not having to stay in class semester after semester after semester um, the traditional way that we've been doing it. Now we have success terms where a student can come to, to our school and go for seven weeks. They can actually earn a certificate in just seven weeks. Um, if you wish to do a diploma or a degree, you can still come for those seven weeks at a time and finish in half the time just to get you out there in the workforce at a much faster rate. Um, another benefit of going to technical colleges, you have small class sizes. Um, and that can be a very big benefit because it gives us close knitness there, if that's a word, you know, because I'm good for making up words. Um, but very close knit, it allows us to develop relationships with our students. You develop relationships with other students in the classroom. And it makes the, I guess, when it comes to reaching out to students and, and students reaching out to us, it is just more of a convenience there to have a smaller class size. You're not lost in the shuffle, if you will. Um, attending, attending a technical college, such, such as Albany Tech, it is expensive. It is inexpensive, I'm sorry. Inexpensive. And right now, it's a great time to get in because our fees are waived right now for application fees. Testing in a lot of our areas have been waived, um, and that is due to the coronavirus once again. We are allowing our students to get in hassle-free, if you will. Um, we do offer financial aid as well, so you can always um, look into that. We do have this information on our website, which I'll share in just a second. Um, what I mentioned before about class instruction and being in a small class setting, we also offer hands-on labs, and I can speak specifically about early childhood because we have our own childcare lab right there on campus, which I love. So you're able to work hands-on with the children. We get you ready um, with lesson plans. We teach you about classroom management. We teach you about how to even change a baby, how to change their clothes, um, how to soothe a crying baby. But there are so many things that we can teach you. We can tell you about it all day long. But to get in that lab and actually do it, that's a huge benefit. So when you get into that career field, you're not lost. You're not saying, well, I've never done that. It is just a, a total win situation when you can have a hands-on lab. And not just with early childhood. We have so many, so many programs out there. We have over 50 programs. Um, we have healthcare, and I will admit, because I'm in early childhood, I'm always team early childhood, but I will say we have one of the top nursing programs out there. Uh, we have cosmetology, we have barbering, we have criminal justice, we have business technology, we have fire and emergency services, computer programming, hotel, restaurant management. I would love to do something like that. Um, culinary arts, welding, plumbing commercial truck driving, whatever it is you can think of, we have it. And it's hands on. You get to learn everything right there while you're going through your coursework. I'm talking kind of fast. Any questions as of right now, Mr. Sweet? No, no, ma'am. You, you're covering everything. I'm, uh, you're on a roll now. Okay, okay. You stop me if you have anything you want to interject now. <laughs> um, but I do get excited when I talk about Albany Tech because there's so many wonderful things going on. And we do get you ready for, for that workforce, we do. Um, speaking of which, upon graduation, we have a higher chance of you getting a job when you're coming out from us. And I can speak from experience on that. Um, oftentimes, I can't tell you how many times I have school principals calling me, um, I have daycare owners calling me. Wilkerson, what you got over there? We're looking for some people to fill in some spaces over here. I got some, some positions. When you have people calling, and I'm not the only instructor that happens, that happens too, but we have so many people looking for positions to be filled in our area, and not just in all, but in the surrounding areas, in your area. They're always calling us. So you're not going to have an issue finding a job after you're done with your credentials. That's a win-win situation as well. Um, if you move about the city, 
of Albany, um, Mitchell County, Camilla, if you move about Sylvester, you'll see signs in yards that says, of businesses that says we hire Albany Tech students. And yes, they most definitely do. We get calls daily looking to, um, to hire some people. Now, if you are going to Albany Tech to work on your, your degree, your associate degree, you have the option to move on to a college or university of your choice. Um, we have many in our area in which we have articulation agreements with, and that simply means that you can take those credits and move on to a college or university in our area. Um, most specifically with early childhood, if you come through our program under the associate, the associate degree of exceptionalities, that transfers over to Albany State and many other um, colleges in our area. Um, so you wanna take advantage of that too. We have many students who start off at Albany Tech and move on and there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, had I had a chance to do that, I would have gladly done that before going to Albany State because I struggled my first two years at Albany State. And I think that if I had started Albany Tech, I would have gotten those soft skills I needed, I would have gotten everything I needed to prepare me and then move on to Albany State. So please take advantage of that. Okay. Absolutely. That 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 was one of the advantages that 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 I took. That was one of the things I, I went I went to a a, a four-year school first. And so I kind of went backwards. And then um I, I my first year there, I was like, you know what? I need I need to I need to digress. I need and so um I went to Albany Tech because it was more hands-on. Um, classrooms were smaller. Um, it was more uh, personal interaction with teachers, with instructors that, that, um, that benefited me. So I can definitely attest to that. Right, right. And that is a big benefit, especially for somebody coming out. I'm not quite ready. But I'm only going to school because somebody told me to. Right. I wish I would have had that counselor to, to tell me to look at Albany Tech as an option. And, and to me, I tell everybody, it's the best option. It's the best option to go. Because everybody doesn't come out of high school ready to roll with a plan in place. Right. Sometimes you need that little help, that little boost. And like I said, Albany Tech. Now, if you're ready and you know what career you want to go into and you're ready to roll, hey, Albany Tech is for you as well. If you already have an idea of what you want to do, um, we will get you prepared for that. There is more information, though, on our website. If you can go to albanytech.edu, we have so much information there, current information, especially with our changes with um, the COVID situation going on. Um, we also have a Facebook page. Please like our Facebook page, um, Albany Tech, Albany Technical College. We also have a Facebook page for early childhood care and education. Um, so please like that. And for those who play basketball, if you cheer, we have a basketball team. We have the Titans and we have a cheerleading team. We do have a boys basketball and a girls basketball team. Okay. Um, just want to talk a little bit though about early childhood care and education. Like I said before, you can get your certificate, you can get your diploma or your degree. Some of the coursework you're going to um, take coming through our program. We're going to get you started with intro to early childhood care and education, giving you an overview. And then you're going to go through um, talking about child growth and development, how children grow and develop and change, because that's important when you're talking about teaching children. You've got to know how they develop. Um, then we go on to talk about health, safety, and nutrition, curriculum and assessment, how to properly assess children, um, we move on into then your courses that specialize in the subject areas, such as language, arts, and development. Um, we talk about math and science. We talk about, what am I missing here? Did I cover? I don't know. But we also talk to you about, y'all, I've been on total work at home mode here. I hadn't seen my <laughs> office in like two months, two months work at home mode. Uh, we also um, teach you about how to guide the students, guidance and classroom management, which is a very, very important topic because even though they're small children, you still have to know how 
to guide our students in how to manage your classroom because even a two-year-old, a classroom of two-year-olds will turn your classroom upside down. So you have to know what you're doing. Right. Um, we talk about um, how to get our parents involved. One of my favorite courses is social issues and family involvement. We talk about a lot of the social issues that are affecting our children in today's society. Um, in that class, we, we talk like it's a talk show. But we also talk about ways to reach our parents um, because we notice, yeah, our parents are somewhat involved in our children's lives when they're little, but we want to keep them involved throughout their child's education because a lot of times they dwindle by the time they get to high school until they, you know, graduation time. They were right there, boom. But what about that ninth through that 12th grade year? Um, but we talk about how to keep parents involved no matter what grade they're in. We talk about what are some things that are keeping parents from being involved? What are some of those things that we can actually do to help them become involved in their children's education? Um, we also, am I missing one? Am I missing one? Curriculum assessment. I think that's pretty much it. We also um, discuss exceptionalities in students. Um, and then we have to call track courses. If you are working on your degree, you're going to have to choose a track or a pathway, if you will. Um, and some of those we have paraprofessional, we have exceptionalities, we have um, program management, and we're looking at bringing back our family and child care services as well. So you can get your degree in that um, because we've been a away from actually doing that one, but we're talking about bringing that one back. Now, now with that, with with that that, that degree, with that um, position, um, um, graduates in 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 a uh, field of social work for the family and child care, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, but I think that's pretty much all I had, Mr. Sweet. Do you have any other questions? No, ma'am. You answered all the questions. Um, you answered all the questions. Um. One thing, um, if you would, um, if you could, because you are a graduate of Albany State and you, so, and so you, you are experienced in four-year um, college experience also, um, mm -hmm. could you just briefly touch on the difference in, um, in the cost uh, between a four-year college and, um, a, say, a two-year uh, technical school? You know what? In order for me to effectively answer that, I will need to know the cost of a four-year college. <laughs> you tell you, I've been out of school <laughs> about 20, over 20 years now. Over 20 years I have been out, but I can tell you most definitely it is less expensive to go to Albany Tech. I can say that. I, I, get, I can tell you it is <laughs> It is also. I, I, I know that from experience and, and, uh, and writing checks. <laughs> but that is a great question. I'm going to have to actually research the cost that it, it, it you know, for going to Albany State, because I honestly do not know. I guess it's just out of mind. Just don't worry about it because I'm not there. Because you're not there anymore. <laughs> right, right. Think about another cost, but no. And I'm sure it's way higher now. Absolutely. Um, it's way higher now. And I, I think even with COVID situation going on, they may have some things weighed too. Um, just have it's just a matter of kind of looking into it. I haven't really looked into it like that for Albany State. Um, but like I said, with Albany Tech, I know that it is a whole lot less to go to Albany Tech now. Um and even with the cost of Albany Tech, I'm going to have to actually research that so I can give you a definite answer on that. Absolutely. You no, know, it is less expensive. And like I said, you're going to get the hands on. When I went to, and no shade to Albany State, I love my degree. I love where I am. However, um, when I left Albany State and I got my first classroom, I was still learning on the job. Because it's a big difference sitting in the classroom, you're listening, you're reading your book, you're taking your test, and then you're a graduate. Now, boom, it's sink or swim, as with any job. But I will say with Albany Tech, 
as I said earlier, it's more hands-on. You're actually doing the work in the classroom with the children. So it's not so much of a shock when you come out of our setting and into your actual work setting. Where it was, I felt like it was a shock when I came out of Albany State. And here it is, I'm in the classroom with 31 people. Like, what do I do now? What do I do? Yeah, I had a septum experience that lasts for like, what, two weeks? Right. When I'm going to Albany State. Um, even with student teaching, to me, that didn't give me what I needed. Not 100%. But I really, I, I know for a fact that Albany, at Albany Tech, we're preparing our students a whole lot better. And then for a lot less. Hey. That's, that's always a good thing. That's, that's always, always a great good. thing. That's always a great thing. Yes, um, ma'am. But I am available to answer any questions. I can give you all my direct number because I'll be returning back to work next week. I will be in my office. Um, my office number is 229-430-6145. I will answer my phone. If someone else answers, call 911 because they should not be in now. <laughs> that is my direct number. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, or I need to put you in the right direction, if early childhood is not where you want to go, I will put you in the right direction so that you can get to where you need to be at Albany Tech. Albany Tech. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you, Mrs. Wilkinson. Thank you for taking time out and sharing that information with the Boys and Girls Clubs um, of Mitchell County and the uh, members here and those who may join. Um, I'm pretty sure that there will be others who will love that, who take advantage of that information. Um, thank you again. Thank you again. You have a great day, and uh, we will be following up with you again for a part two, because I know there is more information that you will, that you can, and that you uh, will provide for our members here at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Michigan. All right, and if you need for me to come, I mean, I don't mind putting my mask on and setting up and passing out information um, and bringing somebody with me if I need to from another department um, to just speak to the boys and girls up close and bringing some information to put in their hands. So let me know. We will load up and come on to Mitchell County. I will definitely take you up on that offer. Definitely in the near future. All right. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Wilkinson. You have a great day. All right. You too, Mr. Sweet. Good seeing you and talking. Yes, ma'am.